Have you ever wondered about a country where happiness is more important than wealth? Welcome to Bhutan, the land of the Thunder Dragon. Today on Kabuma Travel, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey to this mystical Himalayan kingdom, where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with modern life. And trust me, you won't want to miss the most fascinating part at the end. Nestled between China and India, Bhutan is a gem hidden in the Himalayas. Known for its majestic fortresses, known as Dongs and its breathtaking landscapes, this country offers an experience like no other. Let's dive into the heart of Bhutan and explore its unique culture, traditions, and why it's a must-visit destination for every traveler. How to get to Bhutan. Now we're focusing on a journey that many travelers consider a dream, getting to the mystical, serene kingdom of Bhutan. Nestled in the Himalayas, Bhutan is more than a destination. It's a passage to a different world. So buckle up as we guide you through the essential steps to make your Bhutanese adventure a reality. First things first, getting to Bhutan is unlike traveling to most countries. It's unique, exclusive, and incredibly well-preserved. The Bhutanese government, in its efforts to protect its culture and environment, regulates tourism through a policy known as high value, low impact. This means you can't just book a flight and show up. Let's break down the process. Step one, visa and travel restrictions. All tourists, except for those from India, Bangladesh, and the Maldives need a visa to enter Bhutan. But here's the twist. You can't apply for this visa independently. It's processed through a registered Bhutanese tour operator or one of their international partners after you've booked your tour. This brings us to our next crucial step. Step two, booking your trip through a tour operator. This is mandatory. The government approved tour packages include your accommodation, transportation within Bhutan, a guide, food, and entrance fees. While this might sound restrictive, it ensures you get a fully immersive and hassle-free experience in Bhutan. Step three, the daily tariff. Bhutan charges a daily tariff for tourists, which is included in your tour package. This tariff varies based on the season, and a part of it goes towards free education and healthcare for Bhutanese citizens. It's tourism that's contributing to the country's development. Step four, getting there. The main international gateway to Bhutan is Paro International Airport. It's one of the most challenging airports to land at, so only a few pilots are certified to fly here. Two airlines operate flights to Bhutan, Druk Air and Bhutan Airlines, with connections in cities like Bangkok, Delhi, Kathmandu, and Singapore. Another option for travelers from India is to enter through one of the land border crossings. Now, some pro tips for your Bhutanese adventure. First, pack appropriately for the varied climate. Layers are your best friend here. Second, internet and connectivity can be spotty outside major towns, so prepare for some offline time. A true escape from the digital world. Remember, Bhutan's allure isn't just in its landscapes, but in its unique approach to life, where gross national happiness trumps gross national product. It's a country that cherishes its traditions, environment, and way of life above all else. This journey is more than a vacation. It's a deep dive into a philosophy of life. Philos Best time to go to Bhutan. Today, we're delving into a question every adventurous traveler asks. When is the best time to visit the hidden Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan? This enchanting land of monasteries, dragons, and happiness offers different experiences throughout the year. So let's embark on a journey through the seasons to discover the ideal time for your Bhutanese adventure. Bhutan, a country that measures its success in gross national happiness, is as diverse in its weather as it is in its culture. The best time to visit largely depends on what you want to experience. Whether it's the vibrant festivals, serene trekking routes, or the panoramic beauty, Bhutan has a season for every traveler's dream. Let's start with spring, from March to May. This season is a favorite among many travelers. Why, you ask? The valleys come alive with a riot of flowers, including the famous rhododendrons. The skies are clear, offering stunning views of the Himalayan peaks. It's also the perfect time for trekking, with moderate temperatures making the journey pleasant. Spring is not just about natural beauty. It's also the season of Parotsechu, one of Bhutan's most famous festivals. Held in the Parodzong, this religious festival is a colorful display of Bhutanese culture, with mask dances and historical reenactments. It's a cultural spectacle you don't want to miss. Then comes the summer, from June to August. This is the monsoon season in Bhutan. While it brings heavy rainfall, it also transforms the landscape into a lush, verdant paradise. It's less crowded during these months, offering a more peaceful experience. Plus, the rain adds a mystical aura to the monasteries and fortresses. Summer might be wet, but it's also when the rare black-necked cranes dance in the valleys. For nature enthusiasts and bird watchers, 
this is a sight to behold. But do remember, heavy rains can cause travel disruptions, so it's wise to plan accordingly. As we move into autumn from September to November, Bhutan once again becomes a hotspot for travelers. The skies clear up and the weather is cool and pleasant, ideal for trekking. The fall foliage in the valleys is a treat for the eyes. It's also the time for the Thimphut Sechu, another major festival, full of dance, music, and celebration. Autumn, like spring, offers clear mountain views, making it perfect for those looking to capture Bhutan's stunning landscapes and photographs. The trek to the Tiger's Nest Monastery is particularly magical during this season, with the clear skies and moderate climate. Lastly, winter, from December to February. The chill sets in, but so does a different kind of beauty. The highlands are covered in snow, offering breathtaking views. It's the best time for bird watching in the lower valleys and for experiencing the serene, quieter side of Bhutanese life. While winter might be cold, it's also when Punaka Dramcha and Shechu take place, showcasing Bhutan's traditions in all their glory. Plus, it's the ideal season for catching a glimpse of the endangered black-necked crane in the Pobjika Valley. So, when should you visit Bhutan? Each season has its charm. Whether it's the cultural festivals of spring and autumn, the lush summers, or the serene winters, Bhutan offers a unique experience all year round. It's about what you're seeking in this land of happiness and dragons. Remember, no matter when you choose to go, Bhutan's mystical allure is ever-present. It's a journey that will not just take you through beautiful landscapes, but also through a unique culture that prioritizes happiness and harmony with nature. Budget for traveling to Bhutan. Now we're going to tackle a topic that's on the mind of every wanderlust heart, how to budget for a trip to the enchanting kingdom of Bhutan. Known for its breathtaking landscapes and rich culture, Bhutan is a dream destination for many. But let's face it, traveling here requires careful financial planning. So let's dive in and demystify the costs of journeying to this Himalayan paradise. First off, Bhutan is unique in its approach to tourism. To preserve its pristine environment and culture, the government has implemented a high-value, low-impact tourism policy. What does this mean for your budget? Well, it implies a fixed daily tariff for international tourists, which can initially seem steep but covers a wide array of services. Let's break it down. The daily tariff, which forms the bulk of your expense, varies depending on the season. During the high season, March to May and September to November, it's around $250 per person per day, while in the low season, December to February and June to August, it drops to about $200. But here's what this fee includes. Your accommodation, all meals, a licensed Bhutanese tour guide, internal transport, and camping equipment for trekkers. Plus, it also includes a $65 per day sustainable development fee that goes towards free education, healthcare, and poverty alleviation in Bhutan. Now let's talk about getting there. Flights to Bhutan are operated by only two airlines, Druk Air and Bhutan Airlines, and this exclusivity means higher flight costs. Depending on your departure city and season, a round-trip flight can range from $500 to $1,000. To save some bucks, consider flying from nearby hubs like Kathmandu, Delhi, or Bangkok. Once in Bhutan, your daily tariff covers internal travel. However, if you're looking to upgrade your stay or add luxury experiences, that's an additional cost. For instance, staying in a high-end hotel or requesting a specialized guide for photography or birdwatching could add to your expenses. What about visas? For international tourists, the visa fee is a flat rate of $40, which your tour operator will arrange as part of your travel package. Remember, independent travel in Bhutan isn't an option, so your itinerary must be booked through a registered tour operator. Now let's touch on personal expenses. While most of your needs are covered under the daily tariff, you might want to set aside some money for souvenirs, additional snacks, or drinks outside of mealtimes. Handicrafts, textiles, and traditional Bhutanese items make great keepsakes. Budget around $100 to $200 for these extras depending on your spending habits. A pro tip, carry cash and local currency. And Goltram, as ATMs can be scarce outside major towns, and not all places accept credit cards. So to sum up, a week-long trip to Bhutan could cost you around $1,750 to $2,500 in the low season, or $2,250 to $3,000 in the high season. Flights excluded. It's not your typical budget destination, but the all-inclusive nature of Bhutan's travel policy ensures a hassle-free and immersive experience in this extraordinary country. While Bhutan may require a bit more from your travel fund, the unparalleled beauty, cultural richness, and the joy of responsible travel it offers are well worth the investment. Bhutan isn't just a trip. It's an experience that gives back, both to you and to the kingdom of Bhutan. Ready to start planning your Bhutanese adventure? 
Remember, with smart planning and budgeting, the land of the Thunder Dragon is within your reach. Best places to visit in Bhutan. Now we're going to start journeying through the mystical Bhutan, a land where happiness is a place. From majestic fortresses to serene monasteries, Bhutan is a treasure trove of cultural and natural wonders. So let's embark on a virtual tour to discover the best places to visit in the land of the Thunder Dragon. Our first stop is Paro, the gateway to Bhutan. Home to the only international airport in the country, Paro sets the scene with its breathtaking landscapes and historic sites. The highlight here is the iconic Paro Taksang, also known as Tiger's Nest Monastery. Perched on a cliffside, this sacred site offers not just spiritual bliss, but also panoramic views that are out of this world. Remember, the hike up is strenuous, but absolutely worth every step. Next, we head to Thimphu, the capital city. Unlike most capitals, Thimphu is devoid of traffic lights, towering skyscrapers, or the hustle and bustle you'd expect. Instead, it's a blend of traditional architecture and modern development. Key attractions include the King's Memorial Chorten, the majestic Tashiko Zong, and the Buddha Dordenma, a massive Buddha statue overlooking the valley. Thimphu is also great for experiencing Bhutanese cuisine and shopping for local crafts. Moving east, Punaka is our next destination. This former capital of Bhutan is known for the stunning Punaka Zong, arguably the most beautiful Zong in the country. Located at the confluence of two rivers, its strategic and picturesque setting is simply breathtaking. Don't miss the suspension bridge nearby, which offers a thrilling walk with stunning views. For nature enthusiasts, Fobjika Valley is a must visit. This glacial valley is the winter home of the rare black-necked cranes. The valley's serene landscapes and the Gangti Monastery make it a perfect spot for nature walks and cultural immersion. Let's not forget Bumthang, the spiritual heartland of Bhutan. This region houses some of the oldest temples and monasteries in Bhutan, including the Jambe Lakhong and Kurje Lakhong. The valleys of Bumthang are also known for their lush landscapes and traditional Bhutanese villages, offering a glimpse into the rural life of Bhutan. Adventure seekers, your destination is the Jigme Dorji National Park. This park offers a diverse range of flora and fauna, along with opportunities for trekking and spotting wildlife like snow leopards and takins, Bhutan's national animal. For a taste of Bhutan's traditional arts and crafts, a visit to the Trashi Yangtze Zong is essential. Here you can witness the intricate art of Bhutanese wood carving and painting. The region is also famous for its stunning stupa, Chorten Kora, modeled after Nepal's Budhanath stupa. Finally, we circle back to the Ha Valley, one of the most remote and least visited areas in Bhutan. Its untouched beauty, tranquil villages, and ancient temples offer a peaceful retreat from the outside world. In Bhutan, every turn is a new discovery, every path a story. Whether you're seeking spiritual enlightenment, cultural experiences, or natural beauty, Bhutan has it all. Just remember, the journey is as significant as the destination in this magical land. Best restaurants in Bhutan, Bhutanese cuisine with its unique flavors and ingredients is an unexplored treasure. So let's dive into the best restaurants in Bhutan that offer an authentic taste of this Himalayan kingdom. Our first stop is Thimphu, the capital city, where we find Folk Heritage Restaurant. This place offers more than food, it's an experience. Here you can enjoy traditional Bhutanese dishes in a rustic yet charming setting that resembles a typical Bhutanese family home. Don't miss their Ima Dachi, a spicy blend of chilies and cheese and the red rice. It's a perfect introduction to Bhutanese cuisine. Next, we venture to Zombala 2, also in Thimphu. Known for its cozy ambiance, this restaurant is a haven for those who love spicy food. Their menu features a variety of momos, dumplings, and the succulent faksha pa, pork cooked with spicy red chilies. For vegetarians, their cheese momos are a must try. Moving to Paro, we discover Sonam Trofel Restaurant. This place is a favorite among locals and tourists alike, known for its diverse menu that caters to all palates. Their Bhutanese set menu offers a delightful array of local dishes, giving you a taste of everything. And their chicken dachi is a flavorful twist on the classic Bhutanese dish. In Punaka, Dochula Resort Restaurant is a must visit. Located near the beautiful Dochula Pass, this restaurant offers stunning views along with delicious food. Their buffet lunch is a great way to sample different Bhutanese dishes, especially after a visit to the nearby Druk Wangyal Chortens. For a more upscale dining experience, Bukhari at Uma by Como Paro is the place to be. This luxury restaurant offers a fusion of traditional Bhutanese cuisine with international flavors. The ambiance is serene, and the views of the Paro Valley are simply breathtaking. Their chili cheese with wild mushrooms is a gourmet take on the Bhutanese classic. In the heart of Thimphu, we find Ambient Cafe, a great spot for a casual meal or a coffee break. 
Known for its excellent coffee and a wide selection of pastries, it's a perfect place to relax after exploring the city. They also offer a range of Western and Bhutanese dishes, catering to everyone's tastes. If you're craving Italian in Bhutan, Seasons Pizzeria in Thimphu is your destination. Their wood-fired pizzas are the talk of the town, offering a delightful break from spicy Bhutanese food. The cozy atmosphere and friendly staff make it a favorite among locals and tourists. Thailand. Their tom yum soup and green curry are particularly popular. The restaurant's decor, infused with elements of Thai culture, complements the culinary experience. Bhutan's culinary landscape is as diverse and colorful as its valleys and mountains. Each of these restaurants offers a unique taste and experience of Bhutanese hospitality and culture. From traditional Bhutanese fare to international cuisines, there's something for every palate. So, there you have it, food enthusiasts, the best restaurants to visit on your Bhutanese journey. Best Resorts in Bhutan Now we're going to dive into the serene world of Bhutan, a hidden Himalayan gem, to explore the best resorts that offer not just luxury, but an immersive experience into the heart of this mystical kingdom. If you're planning a trip to Bhutan and wondering where to stay, this is your ultimate guide to the best resorts in the land of the Thunder Dragon. Let's start with the Gangte Lodge in the stunning Pobjika Valley. Overlooking the gorgeous Gangte Gwemba, this boutique lodge provides a perfect blend of luxury and tradition. With its beautifully designed suites, each offering breathtaking views of the valley and warm, personalized service, Gangte Lodge is more than just a stay, it's an experience. The highlight? the hot stone baths, and the traditional Bhutanese meals that will leave you mesmerized. Next on our list is Amankora, a series of lodges spread across five valleys in Bhutan. Amankora brings a new level of sophistication to the Bhutanese hospitality scene. Each lodge, whether in Thimphu, Paro, Punaka, Gangte, or Bumthang, offers a unique experience, harmoniously blending into its natural surroundings. The serene architecture, the sublime spa treatments, and the tailored cultural excursions make Amankora a must-visit for the discerning traveler. Moving to Paro, we find Ziwa Ling Heritage. This 100% Bhutanese-owned hotel is a beautiful amalgamation of traditional Bhutanese architecture and modern comforts. Each of the 45 rooms is adorned with hand-carved wooden cornices and traditional Bhutanese artwork, creating an authentic atmosphere. Their meditation room and two-acre garden are perfect for those seeking tranquility. For those who love a view, Uma by Como Paro is an idyllic choice. Set amidst the Paro Valley, this resort offers unparalleled views of the Himalayas. The rooms and villas are designed with comfort and elegance in mind, and the resort's Bukhari restaurant is a culinary delight. Don't forget to try their signature wellness treatments at the Como Shambhala Retreat. In the heart of Thimphu, Taj Tashi beautifully combines Bhutanese Zong architecture and modern design. From hand-painted walls to elaborate woodwork, Every detail here reflects the artistry of Bhutan. The rooms offer splendid views of the mountains and the town. The Jiva Spa and the array of dining options here add to the charm of this luxurious retreat. Heading to Punaka, Six Senses Bhutan awaits. This resort spans across five lodges in different locations, including Thimphu, Punaka, and Paro, each providing a unique perspective of Bhutan. With its focus on sustainability and wellness, Six Senses offers a perfect escape for those looking to reconnect with nature and self. The lodges offer experiences ranging from riverside dining to private meditation sessions with monks. Last but not least, Le Meridian Paro Riverfront offers a modern sanctuary on the banks of the Paro River. The contemporary design infused with Bhutanese touches, luxurious amenities, and an excellent location make it an ideal base for exploring Paro. The panoramic river views and the signature spa treatments are the cherries on top of this lavish experience. Bhutan's resorts are more than places to stay. They are gateways to understanding and appreciating this beautiful country. Each resort offers a unique window into Bhutan's culture, nature, and spirituality, wrapped in luxury and comfort. There you have it, luxury seekers and culture enthusiasts. The best resorts in Bhutan that promise an unforgettable stay. Natural beauty of Bhutan. Now we're going to embark on a visually spectacular expedition to Bhutan, the hidden jewel in the Himalayas. Bhutan, known for its untouched natural beauty and commitment to conservation, is a paradise for nature lovers. So let's explore the breathtaking natural beauty that Bhutan has to offer. Ready to be amazed? Let's dive in. Our first stop is the iconic Paro Taktsang, also known as the Tiger's Nest Monastery. While the monastery itself is an architectural marvel, the natural surroundings are equally mesmerizing. Perched on a cliffside overlooking a lush forest of blue pines and rhododendrons, 
the journey to Tiger's Nest is as breathtaking as the destination itself. The views of the Paro Valley below are nothing short of magical. Next, we venture into the serene Pobjika Valley. This broad glacial valley is a designated conservation area and winter home to the black-necked cranes. The valley, with its gently rolling hills and the tranquil Gangte Gumba, offers a peaceful escape into nature. The sight of the cranes against the backdrop of the valley is a photographer's dream. Moving on, we find ourselves in the Bumthang Valley. Known as the Switzerland of Bhutan, Bumthang is a cluster of four valleys with a mix of fields, quaint villages, and ancient temples. The region is known for its beautiful buckwheat fields and apple orchards. The Yura Valley in Bumthang, with its sweeping landscapes and traditional Bhutanese architecture, is a sight to behold. For the trekking enthusiasts, the journey to Jomalhari is unmissable. Jomalhari, or the Bride of Kanchenjunga, stands tall at over 7,300 meters. The trek to its base camp is one of the most popular in Bhutan, offering stunning views of the mountain, rich forests, and high-altitude meadows sprinkled with wildflowers. Let's not forget the Punaka Valley, where the Mo Chu and Fo Chu rivers converge. Here lies the Punaka Zong, a majestic fortress that looks like it's floating during the spring when the lilac jacaranda trees are in bloom. The valley, with its terraced rice fields and the blooming trees, is a canvas of vibrant colors and textures. Heading east, we come across the Ha Valley, one of Bhutan's best-kept secrets. This remote valley, with its pristine alpine forests and tranquil hamlets, is perfect for those looking to experience the untouched beauty of Bhutan. The traditional farmhouses dotted across the landscape offer a glimpse into the authentic rural life of Bhutan. No tour of Bhutan's natural beauty would be complete without mentioning the Dachula Pass. At over 3,100 meters, this mountain pass offers a stunning 360-degree panoramic view of the Himalayas. The 108 memorial chortons, or stupas, add to the spiritual and aesthetic beauty of the place, making it a photographer's paradise. Lastly, the mystical Merak and Sakteng regions, located in eastern Bhutan, offer a rare glimpse into the semi-nomadic lifestyle of the Brakpa people set against the backdrop of verdant hills and wildflower meadows. These untouched landscapes are a reminder of the raw beauty of nature. Bhutan, with its diverse natural scenery ranging from subtropical plains to steep mountains and valleys, is an unparalleled destination for nature lovers. Every corner of this country offers a new perspective on natural beauty and serenity. Art and Architecture in Bhutan Now we're going to venture into the mystical world of Bhutanese art and architecture. Bhutan, a land steeped in tradition and spirituality, offers a visual feast of intricate designs and sacred structures that reflect its unique cultural identity. So, let's embark on a journey to explore the stunning art and architectural marvels of the land of the Thunder Dragon. Our first stop is the iconic symbol of Bhutanese architecture, the Zong. These fortress monasteries found throughout Bhutan are masterpieces of Bhutanese culture, combining religious significance with administrative functions. The Punaka Zong, with its majestic structure set at the confluence of two rivers, is not just an architectural wonder, but also a testament to Bhutan's rich history. As we delve deeper, we encounter Bhutan's unique style of painting, known as Thangka. These intricate scroll paintings, often depicting Buddhist deities and scenes from Buddhist mythology, are more than art. They're a form of meditation and a guide to enlightenment. The National Museum in Paro houses an exquisite collection of ancient Thangkas, offering a glimpse into the spiritual and artistic heritage of Bhutan. Moving on, Bhutan's architectural beauty is also evident in its monasteries. The Tiger's Nest Monastery, or Paro Taksang, is a stunning example. Perched precariously on a cliffside, this sacred site is not only a marvel of human endeavor, but also a symbol of Bhutanese devotion and artistry. The interior murals and woodwork here are as breathtaking as the exterior views, now let's talk about Bhutanese stupas, or chortons, symbolizing the mind of Buddha. The memorial chorton in Thimphu, built in honor of the third king, is an extraordinary example of Bhutanese architectural elegance and spiritual symbolism. The elaborate mandala designs, sculptures, and inscriptions inside the chorton are remarkable. In Bhutan, even the bridges are works of art. The traditional cantilever bridges, like the one in Punaka, are not just functional structures, but also display the ingenuity of Bhutanese craftsmanship. These bridges, with their ornate woodwork and colorful prayer flags, blend harmoniously with the natural surroundings. Bhutan's artistry is also reflected in its textiles, renowned for their vibrant colors and intricate patterns. The weaving centers in Luense and Koma villages offer a unique insight into the skill and creativity involved in Bhutanese weaving. These textiles, often made of silk and yak wool, 
are a vital part of Bhutanese culture and identity. Another aspect of Bhutanese architecture is the traditional Bhutanese house, with its beautifully carved wooden windows and ornate cornices. The Pobjika Valley, with its quaint and colorful houses set against the backdrop of lush green fields, is a perfect place to witness this architectural style. Last but not least, the contemporary art scene in Bhutan is thriving, with artists blending traditional motifs with modern themes. The vast art gallery in Thimphu is a hub for contemporary Bhutanese art, showcasing works that reflect the country's transition into the modern world, while staying rooted in tradition. Bhutan's art and architecture are not just visually stunning, they are windows into the soul of this Himalayan kingdom. From majestic zongs to delicate thangkas, every piece tells a story of faith, tradition, and artistic excellence. Tradition and Festivals of Bhutan Now we're going to delve into the heart of the Himalayas to explore the rich traditions and colorful festivals of Bhutan. This hidden gem, known for its stunning landscapes and gross national happiness, is also a cradle of deep-rooted traditions and cultural extravaganzas. So, buckle up as we embark on a journey through Bhutan's most captivating customs and celebrations. Our exploration begins with the Sechu festivals, the most widely celebrated events in Bhutan. These annual religious festivals held in each Dzongkug, or district, are a spectacle of vibrant costumes, masks, and dance. The Parotsechu and Thimputsechu are particularly renowned. Here, the cham dances, performed by monks and laymen, are not just entertainment, but a form of meditation and an offering to the gods. Next, let's dive into the Chechu rituals. A highlight of these festivals is the unveiling of the Thong Drill, a large tapestry depicting a seated Buddha. This sacred event held in the early hours is believed to cleanse one's sins. The air fills with devotion as locals dressed in their finest ghosts and kiras gather to receive blessings. Moving on, the Jambe Lakhang Drup is a festival unique to Bumthang Valley. This event features the sacred naked dance, performed in the moonlight, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. It's a surreal experience, deeply rooted in Bhutanese mythology and spirituality. In the serene Ha Valley, we encounter the Ha Summer Festival. It's a celebration of traditional living, Bhutanese cuisine, sports, and religious performances. This festival offers an authentic glimpse into the nomadic and pastoral lifestyle of the Haps, the native people of Ha. Bhutan's traditions also extend to its unique sports. Archery, the national sport, is not just a game, but a way of life. The traditional bamboo bow and arrow and the colorful targets are integral to local festivals. The cheers, songs, and dances that accompany archery competitions are as compelling as the sport itself. Another fascinating tradition is the art of Zorig Chusum, or the 13 traditional arts. These arts include painting, sculpture, wood carving, and embroidery, and are integral to Bhutanese culture. Visiting the National Institute for Zorig Chusum is a must for anyone interested in understanding the artistic heritage of Bhutan. Bhutan's religious life is also deeply intertwined with its daily life. A visit to a local monastery during morning prayers offers a serene and spiritual experience. The sound of monks chanting, the smell of butter lamps, and the sight of intricate murals and statues create an atmosphere of peace and reverence. Lastly, let's talk about the Lozar Festival, or Bhutanese New Year. Marked by family gatherings, feasts, and traditional dress, Losar is a time of joy and renewal. It's an occasion where Bhutanese people reflect on the past year and welcome the new with hope and happiness. From the grandeur of Sikhis to the intimacy of local traditions, Bhutan's cultural landscape is as diverse as it is fascinating. These traditions and festivals offer a window into the Bhutanese way of life, a life that's harmoniously woven with spirituality, art, and community. Conclusion. As we come to the end of our incredible journey through Bhutan with Kabuma Travel, it's time to reflect on the extraordinary experiences and insights we've gathered from this unique Himalayan kingdom. From the awe-inspiring landscapes to the vibrant festivals, the spiritual monasteries to the warm-hearted people, Bhutan has offered us a glimpse into a world where tradition and modernity blend harmoniously, and happiness is considered the essence of life. We began our adventure in Paro, marveling at the majestic Tiger's Nest Monastery perched on a cliff, a testament to Bhutan's deep-rooted Buddhist traditions and architectural ingenuity. The journey to this sacred site was not just a trek but a spiritual pilgrimage, offering breathtaking views and a sense of serenity that is hard to find elsewhere. In Thimphu, the capital city, we witnessed the unique blend of ancient tradition and contemporary development. We explored bustling markets filled with local handicrafts, visited the Grand Tashicho Zong, and witnessed the national sport of archery in action. Thimphu, with its lively culture and scenic beauty, exemplifies Bhutan's commitment to preserving its cultural heritage while embracing modernity. 
Our travels took us to Punaka, where the stunning Punaka Zong stands at the confluence of two rivers. Here, we experienced the spiritual and historical significance of Bhutan's architectural marvels. The serenity of the Fobjika Valley, with its graceful black-necked cranes, reminded us of Bhutan's deep respect for nature and wildlife. Bhutan's festivals, like the vibrant Sekis, were a kaleidoscope of color, dance, and music, offering a window into the country's rich spiritual and cultural life. The cham dances and the grandeur of these festivals were not just entertaining, but also symbolized the Bhutanese people's devotion and communal harmony. In Bumthang, the spiritual heartland, we delved deeper into Bhutan's religious heritage, visiting ancient temples and monasteries. This region, with its sacred sites and tranquil surroundings, provided a profound sense of peace and spirituality. Bhutan's commitment to environmental conservation and sustainability is another aspect that deeply impressed us. As the world's only carbon-negative country, Bhutan is a leader in environmental protection, with vast forests, clean air, and policies that prioritize the planet's well-being. The cuisine of Bhutan, with its unique flavors and dishes like emadachi and red rice, added a delightful culinary dimension to our travels. The warm hospitality of the Bhutanese people made each meal and interaction an unforgettable experience. As we conclude our journey, it's clear that Bhutan is more than just a travel destination. It's a lesson in living harmoniously with nature and upholding cultural values. The philosophy of gross national happiness, deeply ingrained in every aspect of Bhutanese life, is a powerful reminder of what truly matters in life. We leave Bhutan with hearts full of joy and minds enriched with new perspectives. This journey has been a testament to the beauty of preserving one's cultural identity while embracing change gracefully. Bhutan, with its mystical charm and serene beauty, has left an indelible mark on our souls. Thank you for joining Kabuma Travel on this unforgettable exploration of Bhutan. We hope this journey has inspired you to seek adventures that go beyond the ordinary and immerse yourself in the richness of different cultures. Stay tuned for more adventures around the globe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more travel content. Until next time, keep exploring and remember, happiness is the greatest journey of all.